What is up you guys? Welcome back. Welcome to today's video. Today we're just doing a very chatty get ready with me video. I was inspired by this palette from Melt Cosmetics. They came out with their Dark Matter palette. So I used this today because I could not wait any longer. I really wanted to do like a very dramatic smoky look and then the creative juices were just flowing and we ended up with this hot pepper lip. I love it, it's so perfect for summer. But um, yeah, we just go on and on. I chat about a bunch of random stuff. I kind of give you, not necessarily a life update, but just where my thoughts are right now recently. And I know that I just did one of these, but apparently I wasn't done. Apparently I had way more to say. So here we are. We're gonna chit chat, get ready, do some smoky makeup. And that's what this video is. <laughs> I hope you like it. Please subscribe and let's get started. Let me pop this in a little bit. So what do I want to do today? Um, I do have on a spray tan. I just put it on before sitting down to film. Normally I like to let it develop before putting any makeup on, but we're not doing that today. Um, I feel like all of my foundations are too light for me, except for the reboot, but I'm just not in the mood for that finish today. We will see. We're not gonna do primer today. I wanna try the Luminous Silk Foundation from Giorgio Armani. This is such a classic infamous foundation. I have the shade 4.5, which probably normally matches me once the tan is off, but it's gonna go on a little light today. Um, where is my brush? I'm gonna put this in the brush. I normally won't do that. I like to put it on the back of my hand, but I don't wanna put anything on my spray tan. So, <laughs> it's a little light. That's okay. We will make it work. Um, so I started my podcast up again. I am so excited and I'm so excited that you're excited. I've been wanting to do this for years and years and years. I've started and stopped, started and stopped. And finally I was like, let's just build a freaking community and make it just a fun little chit chat space once a week. So that's the plan. Let me know in the comments what you're excited for, for the podcast, what you're hoping to hear, what you want to talk about, what you need help on, what you want an opinion from me on. I don't know. Just let me know any of your thoughts down below. Um, so I did, it, it's on Apple Podcasts and on Spotify, but I also posted it on YouTube because YouTube has like a podcast section now, but I am not going to video record it as of right now. It's just too much right now. I already am running this channel. I'm running my Instagram, starting the podcast. There's no way that right now, the way that things are, that I can also do video for that. It's just too much. If I had help and assistance in that area, then absolutely, but that's just not the case. Um, I'm a one woman show. It's just me doing all of it, doing all of the editing, all of the recording for everything that you see. I don't have help for anything. So, <laughs> um, yeah, so right now video is just not a thing for me for the podcast, but maybe eventually. So I put it up on YouTube anyways, just because I know some of you guys that are on YouTube and watch videos, um, you don't have Apple Podcasts or you don't go on there or on Spotify, whatever. So I posted it. I don't know how I feel about it. I was thinking I could probably just post it on there and then after 24 hours make it um, private but only viewable in the podcast playlist so you can still access it and watch it again but it won't have like a permanent spot on my like video feed because that can get repetitive and confusing and kind of annoying so i think that that sounds like a good compromise i think i don't know i think that i think that might be what i end up doing and if i don't do that then I just won't post it at all on YouTube just because it's kind of weird the way that it is. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts down below what you think about all that because I just, I just don't know. But I am so excited that you guys are so excited. I am just ready to get back to that and to do it consistently. I already have, I have two already recorded. I'm recording one tomorrow and I have two other ones already like planned out. So I am on top of it. And I'm thinking it's gonna go up on every Tuesday. And that seems like a good uh, little system for me right now. That just made my neck look gray. <laughs> it's okay, we'll put five pounds of bronzer on, you know me. Um, okay, what can I Balls. You know what, I have not used, I'm gonna, hmm. Let's do the Pat McGrath concealer. I feel like it's been a while since I've used it. I'm in the shade LM9. Um, this is one of my favorite concealers but I've just been using the Catrice one so much recently that I just kind of like forgot about it. These um, 
I think they were just like, I think it was just cystic acne right here on my neck. It's going away. I just stopped messing with it. Someone, <laughs> I know that sometimes people are just trying to help, but please don't tell me. I probably have some weird ass skin disease. Like I, I, I Googled this thing. Someone, I forgot the name of it, but they said, oh, it looks like you probably have this. And I Googled what she thought it was and it was so disgusting. It didn't look anything at all like what I had on my neck. And I'm like, why would you say that? I don't understand, but it kind of had me laughing because it literally looks nothing like what she said it was. And it's not even the right spot. I guess that thing, the like skin disease that she was talking about only happens like around your mouth. But um, yeah, I'm pretty sure it was just pimples that are now going away, so. <laughs> Okay, I have a couple of new products or just different products that I feel like using today because I'm tired of using the same stuff all the time. Um, this is the Makeup by Marielle Cream Bronzer in Medium. I always open the wrong side. This is, this is what it looks like. Please focus on it. This is what it looks like. And I'm gonna apply that with my Smith 157 brush and do the whole thing. Oh yeah, that'll be nice. This is a nice neutral color it's not too warm not too cool looks really good um so yesterday i meant to vlog i actually started a vlog but then i stopped like the majority of the whole day so we'll see if i end up using that footage but anyway um yesterday i went with my mother-in-law to adopt a dog she has been wanting a dog just for a little bit she's had beagles over her lifetime and so she's just a beagle lover and they had to put down their dog um about a year and a half ago around new year's and so it's taken some time but then finally she was ready for another dog but she, it she said like it has to be like the perfect fit you know you have to have that feeling and i kind of have that same uh feeling towards getting another dog like would i like another dog maybe um if it shows up on my back porch again absolutely it has to be like that sort of a thing for me so she had like a similar thing for the next dog like it had to be just just right anyways a stray dog came in it was posted on like the police station's facebook page and so the dog was on adoption hold for a little while because they wanted to see if the parents were gonna or the owners were gonna uh, claim the dog they never did I think it was like a week that they waited for the parents or the owners to like claim it and they didn't. So we went yesterday and adopted her. So she is uh, picking her up today from the Humane Society. So very, very exciting. She's such a cutie. She's a beagle mixed with something else. She's gonna have to get a DNA test for her because there's just some differences. You can tell she's not just a beagle. So super exciting. Um, and then <laughs> I went on their website to see what other dogs they had. Ruben and I came across this dog that's like a pit bull terrier mix. Such a cutie. So when we were there, she took him out so that I could see him. He's, he's a little rambunctious and lots of energy, likes to jump, but literally looks like pretzel, but like four times the size. So that's in our thoughts. I'm, I'm thinking probably not going to happen um, just because that feeling isn't there. It's not like absolutely I need to have this dog because that's how I felt with pretzel. It was like I cried over that dog when we had the issue with our neighbors. I just, I wanted her so bad she felt like my child before she was even my dog. And I know Ruben felt the same way. So we don't really have, at least I don't think he has that feeling. I don't have that feeling towards this dog. Um, if I could, I'd adopt every dog and give every dog a home, but I can't. Um, but other than just that feeling, I didn't have anything extra. So we will see. That was fun. It was fun thinking about it. <laughs> and he's so cute. He's just, I love the pit bull face. He's got a pit bull face. It's just like so sweet and cuddly and big and just soft and just a sweetheart. So yeah, that was fun yesterday. <laughs> I wasn't even planning on doing this today, but I kind of got into like a, not a funk, but like a, like my brain just stopped working and I couldn't figure out what I wanted to film today. I've got so many ideas. And then there were some things that I had planned on doing that just have kind of like fallen through the last couple of days because other things have come up. So my whole schedule is kind of out of whack and I'm trying to just do better at going with the flow. 
So I was like, you know what? Let's just do a chatty get ready with me because why not? And it looks like it's about to rain. So the rain mixed with a get ready with me mixed with a dark smoky eye, rainy day slay. <laughs> so anyways, I am loving this bronzer. I forgot how much I liked this formula. It's very blendable. I'm gonna powder my face with the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. Also, check out my earrings. These are from Miranda Fry. They sent these to me a long time ago. I honestly don't even remember when, but I accidentally left them in the box and put them in my jewelry drawer. And they're so freaking cute. So I had to wear them today because they're just so elegant, but vibey. I love them. Um, also, let me know what kinds of fitness content you would like for me because I think that I'm going to begin posting my workouts on Instagram. I don't know the schedule yet. I don't know how it's going to work, but um, I'm excited to share more workouts. I've always wanted to, but I've kind of just been lately with all things, just getting my head out of it and just doing instead of overthinking everything i'm just deciding to just not think and just go for things um which has been great i don't know if you've noticed but i've been posting so much more lately because i've been applying that mentality to things and it's just been refreshing and i've just been having a lot of fun i feel like i already talked about this in my last get ready with me video but like the views lately just haven't been there, but I'm trying not to like let that discourage me because I know over time it's gonna pick back up. I just, I don't know what's going on with the YouTube algorithm lately. It's just been really, really sucking for creators or at least for me. Um, but whatever, I know like the feedback from you guys is that you are really liking my content. I've had more people in the last week reach out to me about how much you guys are loving my content than in a really long time. So that's really encouraging to me. And I, I really appreciate you guys like reaching out and telling me that because sometimes I just feel, I don't know, like, like does what I'm doing even really matter? Or like, is it really doing what I'm hoping that it's doing, you know? I, and I know like my videos aren't like crazy deep, but you know what I mean. Sometimes, I, and, and sometimes I feel like that's a problem. Like sometimes I feel like it needs to have more purpose, but sometimes I don't understand what that purpose is for you and how it impacts you. So when you reach out to me and you tell me those things, it just really means a lot to me. So thank you. Um, so yeah, that's been what's really been encouraging me and helping me to like, keep posting and stuff because of all of the sweet feedback you guys have been giving me and it's just made it so much more fun and so much more exciting and I've had way more ideas and just I've been more creative and I've been out of my head a lot um more you know out of my head more in my head less so just good things although I've kind of neglected like other areas of my life. I haven't been going to the gym, which is why I've been wanting to make it a point for me to post gym stuff because then, well, to create that content, I have to go to the gym. Um, but yeah, I like I've, I haven't been on, I haven't been keeping up with other things in my life lately. I need like a whole week to just get my shit together. I need to do my laundry and I have so much of it right now. It's so overwhelming. It's not like a one day thing. It's like a two day full day, like two full days worth of laundry that I need to do. I need to go through my closet and get rid of stuff because there's just no need for all of this extra clothes. Like if my, when my closet starts like bursting at the seams and like drawers don't shut, there's no, there's no purpose for that. There's no reason that it needs to be that way. So I need to go through and do that. I need to go through my pantry and my kitchen and like reorganize it because there's just not enough space. We've just acquired so much bullshit that I just need to like purge and donate and like, I need to go through my office and do all of that. It's just, I haven't had time to do all of these things because I've been allocating that time to other things like here, you know, I've been like rapidly posting and now I need to like get my life together <laughs> because I just feel a little um, unorganized at the moment. And same with like my fitness. I was like, so on my fitness. And then the last three weeks I've really had that take a back seat and I need to get that back at the forefront because for me to be able to continue with a healthy mindset and to continue posting and continue to be productive in all these other areas, I have to have that because it really does help to clear my mind and make me motivated and healthy eating helps me stay clear minded and motivated. You know, they're really hand in hand. It goes hand in hand with everything else. So, um, I might just do a video on like getting my shit together or something. I don't even know. I just need, 
all of that has just been lacking lately and I'm struggling with balancing all of that. Isn't everybody though? I don't know anybody that just like has their shit together all the time, you know? We are gonna do just a little bit of contouring. I don't wanna go crazy here. I can tend to, so I need to just cool it. On days where I have like a very quick makeup look, I do my nose contour so good. It's because I don't like, I don't know, it's like when I'm concentrating, sometimes I put too much on and then I'm trying to like erase and then add and go back and forth and then it becomes like the most contoured nose you've ever seen in your life. But when I'm like quickly doing it, it ends up looking awesome. So I need to like remember that. As here I go, here I go. Just stop touching it. Oh no. Also check out my new coffee cup. Isn't she so cute? I got it from Amazon. Super adorable. So girly. Been into like really girly things lately. Okay, we're gonna clean this up. Oh, I saw this video on YouTube. I'm gonna link it down below. It was just very encouraging. Um, it was about this girl who deleted social media. I've talked about this before. And I think that I can do this while still having a job on social media because that's always been so tricky. I'm even though I like do, like my job is social media, I'm always trying to be off of it as much as I can. And I think maybe that's because I'm, this is my job. Maybe that's why like I wanna be off of it more and more and more. Um, oh, but the video is so good. I'll link it down below. She basically was saying how like most of our lives were, were posting on social media for the sole purpose of validation from other people. And as much as you think that that's not the case, that's still what it is. That is social media, especially with like picture sharing, video sharing, sharing content. And then even has, as you converse with your friends and family, a lot of us do so by sharing each other videos and, and in real life talking about like, oh, did you see that on TikTok and blah, 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 blah. I noticed that especially um, two years ago at my bachelorette party, I didn't have TikTok and everybody, in almost every conversation, I'm not kidding, someone said, oh, I saw that on TikTok. Did you see this video on TikTok? And I was out of the loop because I didn't have TikTok and I didn't know what they were talking about. So then they'd have to explain it to me. It wasn't as funny. Um, so I always felt out of the loop. And then when I got TikTok, I was very in the loop. And I would bring up like, not even a specific video, but a, a specific saying from a video and someone else would laugh because people would see that, have seen that video and thought it was funny. So it's more, it does feel like a community in that way, but I have noticed just over time that TikTok is just not for me. Like I've never, I have like a healthy relationship with it for like a week and then I tend to spiral and get sucked in like I get addicted. So I haven't been on it now for a little while again. Um, but yeah, it's just interesting and fascinating. And this girl in the video is just talking about how like she ended up actually like losing friends when she stopped being on social media because like they wouldn't, I guess like, I, I feel like it's also like a younger generation thing where they primarily use like Snapchat to like be friends with each other and like share things that way. Um, so I don't like the friends that I have, I don't think that <laughs> I would lose any friends by like not, um, talking on social media in that way or like conversing in that way. Um, but yeah, I just thought that that was another interesting aspect. Like if you're younger, I can see how that can, you could lose friends that way because you're then never in the loop, you know? Um, Jaclyn Cosmetics sent over these new blushes. I think the packaging is so cute and I don't know what I want. I think maybe peach pop. I kind of want to do like a brighter, do I want peach pop or the bronze? I just was about to say, I want a brighter cheek. And then I was like, but do I, do I want a brighter cheek? I don't know. Let's see here. All right. I want to start with this one. I know it's literally like a bronzer, but I don't care. I want to try it. Yeah, we're going to have to go in with some color. This is not going to give me what I'm looking for. At least not right now. Maybe when I'm fair, this will be nice. But right now it's just blending right in. So let's do the peach pop, which kind of looks rosy to me. Honestly, but we'll give this a whirl. Oh yeah, that does not give me peach. It's like a bright hot pink, but beautiful. Very, very pretty. Love that. So yeah, anyway, it popped up, this this video popped up on my home feed on YouTube. And cause I always go through phases of like, oh, I wanna do that and then I never do. And I always struggle with how to do it when my job is social media. 
So that's something I've been thinking about lately too. Maybe putting like a 30 minute time limit on all my stuff. Cause right now my Instagram's at a 45 minute time limit and I keep just like denying the closure. Like when it pops up and says, okay, your time limit's up, your time limit, ugh. when it says your time limit is up, I just deny it and I'm like, well, I'm gonna use it anyways. So I'm actually not abiding by that. So maybe I could just abide by that because when I only have a certain amount of time to do stuff on the platform, then it only lets me do work, honestly. If I only put like an hour time limit on my Instagram, that's how long minimum I would need for work to post, reply to comments, reply to DMs, share on my stories, all of that, which is work related. So that's maybe a good way that I could do it. And then maybe just put everybody on mute so that I'm not, uh, what's the word? Not teased, but I won't be inclined to like click on other people's stories to see what other people are doing, you know? So I don't know, that's just something I've been thinking about. Also same with YouTube, giving myself like a certain amount of time to use that app to like post and then also reply to comments and stuff. I think that could be a healthy way that I do that. And then only checking my email twice a day, maybe first thing when I start my day and then when I end my day and then never going back. I don't know why I like go in and like check it constantly. It's like that is just so unnecessary. You don't need to check it that much unless you're like going back and forth on like a timeline issue. Something's due. You got to get, you know, do all that. But like it's been so long since I've had that happen. Why am I checking my shit all the time? There's just no reason. Um, so anyways. Those are just some of the thoughts I've been feeling since yesterday. <laughs> Thinking about that, let me know what you guys think. Anybody that I have seen videos where they talk about this kind of stuff, where they like deleted social media, um, they always say they are happier, always. I have never seen one person post that video and be like, oh yeah, I deleted social media for six months and you know, I really wish that I had it. N I've never seen that ever. And anybody that ever goes on a social media break comes back feeling better. I We just are not meant to see what other people are doing all the time. We're just not meant to. And I know that that's weird for me to say too, because my job is literally you seeing me and watching my videos. And so I rely on that to make money, but I'm also encouraging you to like delete your apps. You know what I mean? Like I am right there with you. Like I want to do that. And I, I guess I'm just like really encouraged right now after seeing that video, because it's just reminding me of the collection of videos I've seen that are similar of people just being like, yeah, it's changed my life for the better. So I don't know. There's something to, even with the news, like I just don't think that us as humans are supposed to see what other people are doing anywhere else. You know, maybe a little bit of information, but like the constant information, like the way that the news works, I just don't think that we're supposed to operate that way. I don't think that it's healthy for us. So I just, I don't watch the news, especially like after COVID, that whole time period, that was kind of like the last straw that whole year, it was like, I'm done. So I didn't look at any news articles anymore. And some people can say that's irresponsible. Honestly, there's nothing that's come up where it's like, you need to know about it. When you talk about like stuff that's going on in the Ukraine, I know about it. Do I watch the news? No, but it's such an important thing that I know about it. You know, um, there's there's enough people out there that are so involved that they'll tell you. They'll tell, there are so many people in my life that know I don't like watching the news and I specifically have respectfully asked them to leave me out of it. And they will start conversations with, I know you don't want to hear about this, but, and then they go on to tell me the bullshit. That's like, I, why did you tell me that? You could not help yourself. That's the thing. People are so addicted to the news and to like, crazy shit that they can't help themselves but to regurgitate the information even though I've respectfully asked them not to um and this is like multiple people in my life so it's just funny and I don't hold it against them I'm not like mad it's just it is what it is and it's something that I've noticed especially you know I've been thinking about it since I watched this video and I'm like it really it's so true like everyone is just so addicted even if they think they're not addicted you're addicted um let me set my face. I'm liking how this is looking. We're going to do the Morphe setting spray. On to the eyeballs. 
Where's my lid? Motherfucker. Gone forever. All right, I'm gonna do my brows. I'm using the Precisely My Brow Pencil from Benefit. I had to get the logo showing. Um, I'm going to quietly run through these because there's no way that I can do my brows and talk at the same time. Okay, I think that's good enough, I think. Um, now I'm gonna set it with some brow gel. I'm gonna use the Glossier Boy Brow. Love that stuff. Okay, time to prime the eyes. I'm gonna use the Painterly Paint Pot from MAC. We are gonna need to prime majorly because I'm gonna be doing a smoky eye. I don't know the style I'm gonna do. I'm kind of wanting to do like a thick wing, but I just know I want it to be sultry. I want it to be smoky. I want it to be old school. I want it just all of the smoky going out vibes, even though I'm not going anywhere. Although I might go with my mother-in-law to pick up her dog. <laughs> um, we shall see. I'm gonna go into the Dark Matter palette. Looks like this. So gorgeous. And I'm probably just gonna work light to dark. You know the drill. Start smoking it up. So lately I have been struggling with staying consistent with going to the gym. And I was scared that this was gonna happen when I stopped working out with my trainer. And, oh damn it. And I told myself like, this is, this time's gonna be different. You've had this great routine, blah, blah, blah. And I don't know why I can't show up for myself. It's, and I know it's like a deeper issue. Like I know that it's like a self-worth, self-confidence type of thing. So I know that that's something that I need to work on. But like, if I'm meeting anybody else, if I have a class booked, if I'm going with a friend, if I'm meeting my trainer, like whatever it may be, I will be there because I can't let that person down. If we've made some sort of schedule, I will be there and I will not let you down. I have not been able to do that for myself more than like, a week or two I don't know why and I'm really struggling with it right now so it's been three weeks and I haven't gone and it's not even about not the not going it's not like oh you need to be in the gym it's more about this whole situation it's it's about the fact that I'm not showing up for myself when I say that I'm gonna do something and then I don't for myself you know because if I if Amanda was meeting me if I had a class or I was meeting a trainer whatever I know I would have been there so I am just struggling with that right now because now I feel like I'm like my confidence is lowering because of the fact that I'm not showing up for myself and that's what it's all about. So I've been contemplating working with my trainer again. We've been talking about like creating some content and stuff, which is cool. Um, but I don't know. I'm just feeling kind of down about it because I thought that this time was going to be different for me. I thought that I like had some sort of a system and that it was gonna be different this time. And so I'm just kind of a little frustrated that I haven't shown up for myself. So I don't have the answer as of right now. It's just something that's been on my mind this week and I just wanted to share because maybe there's someone out there that also feels the same way or has the same kind of struggle. Um, or maybe, maybe even that's what's prevented you from going in the first place is like knowing that you're worth going and and sh and committing to your commitments for you and not for other people so it's just been a little tricky and i've been kind of bummed about it um i don't know i don't know i don't know oh and right now i am struggling do i want to do an all matte smoky eye do i want to do a shimmer oh i just don't know kind of wanted to do all matte you guys don't come for me <laughs> or come for me i don't actually fucking care we are gonna bring this underneath. We're going smoky, smoky, smoky today. So I just did these two, and now I'm gonna do this one over here. Darker than I thought. I'm gonna start building this up on the outer lid. You can take me out of fall, but you can't take the fall out of me. You know what else? I'm gonna kind of reflect on, or bounce off of what I, talked about in my last get ready with me video where I was talking about like social media and all that kind of stuff. Lately, I've been trying to like 
like I'm trying so hard. So I'm trying to title things in a certain way and do thumbnails in a certain way. And I'm wondering if maybe that's just not authentic to me. That even though that does well for other people, maybe that's just like not me, you know? And like, even though I like it, I, I've enjoyed it and I think it looks nice, but maybe that's just like not authentically me. And maybe I just need to stick to whatever it is that's authentically me because that's what's gotten me to where I'm at now, you know? Like maybe I need to try, <laughs> do less. Do less, get down, try less, do it again. Nope, too slow, do less. Too, you're doing too much, do less, pop down. The less you do, the more you do. <laughs> do I wanna add the berry color? I think I do. We're gonna pop a little bit of that into the look. Ooh. Melt has some of the best eyeshadows in the makeup industry. I just love them and I feel like they're pretty underrated. I feel like they went through, um, they went through a time where they were really popular and everyone was talking about them and like, you know, but I feel like no one talks about them anymore and they are just phenomenal, phenomenal. And I love that they just do whatever the fuck they want. They are not trying to fit into a mold. They never got into the whole, popping out palettes like crazy, you know, the color pop and the Anastasias of the world and the Morphe of the world. They didn't do that. They just did their own thing. They sat back and did whatever they wanted. And I love that. I love that. So, um, yeah. And they, they're just doing the damn thing. They're doing the damn thing. I love it. So if you haven't tried melt eyeshadows, you, you really should. They are worth it. I'm mad at them for discontinuing the Impulsive palette, and if they ever watch this, please bring it back, because that's my favorite palette that they've ever done. And it's, I've created some of my favorite looks with that palette, and it's just glorious. It's amazing for fall. It's just, it's, it's glorious. It's just glorious. I think the key with this look is bringing it basically into your hairline, so once the brush has a lot off, I'm bringing this like past my brow. See, it's like right here right now. We're, we're extending it. It needs a wide girth. Going down here, yes. Do you see the difference? I hope you can see the difference. Black eye energy. You know what else? I feel like I'm following people online or I like their videos and they're like 10 years younger than me. And I'm like, oh my God. I love that. <laughs> and I'm like, bitch, what are you doing? <laughs> I don't know. Not like I shouldn't be watching them, but I'm like, what? I don't know. Am I comparing myself to them? Which is kind of embarrassing. Um, not anything against them. It's just, I am at a different place. So it's embarrassing that I'm like wanting to be different than I am. You know what I mean? I don't know. Kind of silly. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about, but oh, goodness. I'm adding more of that like a reddish shade. Okay, I think I'm gonna take this lightest shade, pop it right here, maybe the second one, pop it on the lid, yes. Okay, I'm gonna grab this lightest shimmery shade and pop that on the brow bone. I normally don't use the lightest shades in the palettes. I don't know why I'm usually just a sucker for my face highlight for this, but this was just, I was drawn to it today and I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy with the color. So I usually bring this down like further and then it looks like all harsh and stuff, but you can just go back in with your other brushes just to blend and then you have a nice fade between the two. And you just go back and forth between your brushes just until you get it exactly how you want it. I need to soften up in here. Pop this up in here. Brighten this up. I'm gonna go into the L'Oreal Infallible Cat Eyeliner and do a wing. I had a dream the other night about me doing my liner. It was the weirdest dream. I was like sharing an eyeliner technique. It was bizarre. <laughs> Didn't make any sense. But yeah, if you would like a full in-depth tutorial on how I do my wing liner, I will link it up in the info card. It's very, very detailed. Okay, I'm liking it. It's kind of like a thicker, like stumpier liner than I normally do. I normally like elongate a little bit more, but I'm liking it. I go in with some mascara. 
Okay, and then I'm gonna go into these lashes. These are called Friends Wisp Benefits. That's such a cute name. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna pop these on. So I'm just gonna pop a little bit of mascara on the bottom lashes, nothing crazy. Dotting some of it away. It's so funny, I used to add so much lower lash mascara. Um, and sometimes I still do, but I think in general, I've definitely lightened the load on that. I used to do so much. With this look, I think this would be gorgeous to do like a bold red or a coral or something. Maybe I should. Mm, it's so outside of my comfort zone. What do I wanna do? Let's just fucking do it. Like quit being a little bitch. Quit being a little bitch. So I grabbed this color from Patrick Tots called She's Not From Here. Don't mind the other red lipstick on it that I've I've layered this with other reds before, but I'm thinking like this hot orange would be gorgeous. I do have the hot pink one. That one's called She's Hard To Get, but this, oh, that's beautiful too, you guys. I'm thinking the orange though. I'm just thinking this is so summery. Yes, we're doing the orange for sure. Um, but this one would also be so gorgeous. It also kind of goes with my nails, but we're not gonna do that today. We're gonna do the orange. And I have so many orange lip liners, I have no idea. I'm gonna start with this one from MAC. It's called Haban, I'm so bad at this word. Habanero, habanero. It's probably like habanero, but like, did I say it right? I don't know. This lip pencil is what I'm gonna be using. I'm gonna line and overline my lips. And now I'm gonna go into She's Not From Here. You guys, this was the right decision. I feel like a hot pepper. So glad I did this. Look at this. We are stepping out of our comfort zones. We're going there. I'm having fun. Um. I do kind of want to deepen it up. <laughs> Let's try a little bit of cranberry from Anastasia. This might be a bad idea, but we will see how this goes. I like it. It's giving it just a nice border. I think I need a little bit more blush and then we'll be set. Probably just a little bit of it, but I need just a little bit more something on my cheeks, I think. Maybe even a little bit more contour. <laughs> <laughs> my look right now is reminding me of the girl in Beethoven, the girl that takes the dog with her boyfriend or whatever. Is her name Regina? I think that's her name. She's got a bun, a red orange lip. That's how I feel. Ooh, I'm gonna go into Tangerine Pop, flush this on my cheeks a little. That's what my cheeks needed. I'm loving this look. I'm so glad I did this. Um, I have got some lipstick on my tooth. Gotta do that, but I don't have anything to wipe my hands off on. Why am I so unprepared today? I am so excited for this look. I feel like it's so fun and so smoky, so perfect for this time of year. This lip is just so exciting. I can't believe I almost went in with a nude. So this is up close, what this looks like. It's a vibe. This I feel like, okay, I'm wearing this bodysuit from Abercrombie and I feel like I'm envisioning this look, something with the earrings and the bun and everything that's going on is just giving me it. Um, but this with like a high-waisted flowy skirt that goes like mid-calf, like a cream color with flowers, like small dainty flowers, some cute sandals and like a, not a beach bag, but it could be a beach bag, but like a woven basket type bag. So cute, right? Like such a cute, that's just like what I envisioned with this look. I love it so much. I hope that you try it out. Step outside of your comfort zones. Lately, I've been doing that just in all areas and it's just been feeling good. It's been feeling really good. So um, I would love to have more of this conversation with you down below in the comments. Let me know what you're excited about for the podcast. I'm just... I'm feeling really excited and I can't wait to just 
have more conversations and talk more and just get a little deeper with you, get a little bit more connected. Um, the more I think about it, the more I'm thinking that I'm going to do the 24 hour thing with the podcast. So it will be up for 24 hours, then it will be erased from the feed, but it will be in the podcast playlist. So you can always go back and refer to it, but I don't want people to be confused if like they're not interested in the podcast. Anyways, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. This was very impromptu and very spur of the moment, but I feel like that's when that's when I do my best work. When I'm feeling very creative and in the mood, it's like, let's just do this thing. So yeah, thank you for watching. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for all of the love and support and excitement to the pod for the podcast. Uh, please subscribe so you don't miss out on anything and I will see you very soon. Bye.